One of the most important things you should do with your BlackBerry device, as with everything that holds important information, is to do a backup. We're going to illustrate the process involved and the options available in backing up and restoring all that important information on your BlackBerry. From the main screen of the Desktop Manager, select Backup and Restore. First, we'll look at some of the options available when doing a backup. Under the Backup heading, select Options. This will open the Backup Options window. Leave the Backup Onboard Memory checkbox ticked to backup files that are saved to your device's onboard memory. RIM says that to back up the device's onboard memory, you'll need to verify that your BlackBerry device has mass storage mode turned on. If you don't receive a prompt when you plug in your BlackBerry and you want to be sure that mass storage mode is enabled, on the device go to Options, scroll down to Memory and click the trackball. Scroll down to Mass Storage Mode Support and confirm that it's on. Then scroll down to Auto Enable Mass Storage Mode when connected and confirm that it is set to yes or prompt. If not, press the trackball and from the options that appear, change from no to yes or prompt. Then when you click the back button, you'll be prompted to save your changes. Under the encryption heading, tick the encrypt backup file if you're concerned about security. What's most important here are the options available under automatic backup settings. It's a very good idea to do regular backups because it's impossible to know when your BlackBerry might have a problem and you'll need to reinstall some of your databases. Tick the backup my device automatically every and I might recommend two to three days. This will generate quite a few backup files and we, you'd be best to regularly delete out of date backup files but if you have a problem with a corrupted database you can use the most current backup to do a selective restore. So the more current, the better. You may wish to exclude email messages and application data that is automatically synchronized. That depends on personal preference. Click OK when you've made your choices. Next, we'll look at the various folder options. Near the top right of the Desktop Manager, you'll see an Options link. Clicking that will bring up the Application Data Folder window. I don't see any good reason not to accept the default folder location, but if you wish to change it, click the radio button to select a specified folder and browse to the desired location. So with the preliminaries out of the way, we'll move on to the main features of Backup and Restore. Click the Backup button. You'll be prompted to accept the default name of the backup file, but you can change it if you wish. Once you've selected a backup file, you'll see the progress bars indicating that the device configuration is being read from the BlackBerry and saved to the backup file. You'll then receive notification that the backup was successful. If the need arises, you may have to restore the BlackBerry's information from the saved backup file. Click the Restore button. Choose a Restore File and click Open or double-click the file you'll see a list of the databases that will be restored to the device. You can't change anything on the list, so just click Yes. We'll deal shortly with doing a selective restore in which we can choose which elements will be restored to the device, but for now just note the status of the restore process as indicated by the progress bars. If you want to take greater control of the backup and restore process, click the Advanced button. As soon as you do that, the Desktop Manager will read the device configuration. Wait for the progress bars to complete. When done, you'll see what information is on the BlackBerry. Following are some of the possible actions you could take. Remember that for all of the following actions, you must have the BlackBerry device connected, as many of the operations we will perform occur at the very moment we click the button. First, you could select all of the available databases on the device and save them to your computer. Highlight everything in the pane on the right-hand side and click the double arrows pointing to the left-hand pane, which represents the computer. You'll see progress bars as the databases are transferred across to the computer. Save this as a backup file to your computer. You'll be asked if you'd like to encrypt the backup file, and for the sake of thoroughness, we'll say yes. Enter a password and confirm it, then click OK. If you change your mind, you can clear all of this from your computer by highlighting all of the elements in the left-hand pane and clicking Delete at the bottom. Click OK to confirm. While the previous example might not seem all that useful, 
After all, you could just save a backup file and use the Advanced button to load it and select individual databases to install. Still, you may encounter some situation in which you'd like to save a smaller selection from the entire list of databases. So, highlight the particular elements you want to save to a special file. In this case, we'll select the address book and the calendar. These are the databases that are most crucial to the majority of users. When you've highlighted them, click the double arrows between the two panes to transfer those databases to the left, the computer side of the relationship. Click File above the left pane and select Save As. Accept the default file name or choose a new one and click Save. You'll be asked if you'd like to encrypt the backup file. Do so if you'd like. If you need to reinstall those particular databases, click the Advanced button and let the desktop software read the BlackBerry's configuration. Click File near the top left and select Open. Double click the backup file with the subset of databases you need. Key in the password if you encrypted the file and the file will load into the left hand pane. Although selecting a particular database on the left and clicking the double arrows between the two panes to move it onto the BlackBerry should overwrite the corrupted database on the device, it is possible to delete the corrupted database from the device first. Highlight the corrupted database on the device and click Clear at the bottom. This will remove all entries from the da database on the device. You'll be prompted to confirm that this is what you really want to do. You'll see that there are no longer any entries showing next to the address book on the device, and we can view the device to confirm this. Remember that these operations occur at the very moment you click the button to confirm. Getting back to the desktop software, you can now highlight the saved copy of the address book and click the double arrows between the two panes. And once you click Yes to confirm, this will instantaneously restore the saved copy of the address book to the BlackBerry. You will now see address book entries next to the address book on the device. Confirm on the device that your entries have been restored. Likewise, the same can be done with calendar entries. As I said earlier, transferring a database that's saved on the desktop onto the BlackBerry should overwrite the database already on the device, but we could delete it first if the need should ever arise. Highlight the calendar database on the left-hand side and click the double arrows to install it onto the BlackBerry. Confirm that you want to replace what's on the BlackBerry with the information from the backup. The right-hand panel, which represents the BlackBerry, will now show calendar entries back on the device. So, hopefully this video has given you all the direction you need to protect your BlackBerry's vital information. But in case you'd like more assistance with this or any other BlackBerry procedure, you can give us a call at 0800 488 737